This year, 2020, has not been a great year in so many ways, but it has been a great year for the Raspberry Pi. We have seen so many impressive upgrades to both hardware and software, and this month Raspberry Pi folks decided to impress us even more by releasing the so much needed updates to the official Raspberry Pi operating system. If you take a look at the raspberrypi.org website, you will see a list of the new changes and updates. I'm not going to bore you with reading through all this. I will just skim through it and hit the wave tops. The first thing you will see is video hardware acceleration being integrated with the new release of Chromium browser. The second best update is getting the most common video conferencing clients such as Google Meet, Microsoft Teams, and Zoom to work. This in my opinion matters a lot. I normally get a decent amount of questions about video conferencing with Raspberry Pi and I finally can say with confidence that video conferencing can be done reliably on a Raspberry Pi. So let's get to work and download the new release. For those individuals who already have Raspberry Pi OS, the update can be done by going to terminal and entering sudo apt update and sudo apt full upgrade. To install the Pulse audio Bluetooth support, you will need to enter the following command in the terminal window. If you choose to do a fresh install like I am doing, you can download from any of these following options on the screen and write it to your SSD or micro SD card. If you have never installed an operating system on a Raspberry Pi and need a step-by-step -step information, you can click on any of my previous videos on Raspberry Pi for further instructions. Okay, looks like everything is installed. Let's check and see if the alleged updates are really happening. We will start with Chromium and see if a basic 1080p YouTube video can run properly. looking good I am truly impressed this is honestly more than I expected man you guys truly nailed it this is pretty pretty good Now let's go ahead and check out Zoom. Wow, this is nice, really, really nice, great, great job, wow. I mean, there is a little bit of latency, but not as, not 
anywhere near what it was before. This is good. This is with Logitech C920 webcam. Now let's see how it does with the Raspberry Pi camera module. It's not doing too good. Not doing too good. There is a little bit of lag. And um, if you can get over this lag, then it shouldn't be a problem for you. Very important, if you are planning on using the Raspberry Pi camera module, don't forget to enable it in the Raspberry Pi configuration. Alright, moving on. Next, let's check out Google Meet. Holy cow, this is even faster. This is nice. Wow. All right. Now, before I forget, I am using a USB mic with this setup. I'm using a Samsung Go mic. Just an FYI, I'm going to stop right here. I tried to check out Microsoft Teams, but I run into all kinds of issues. It has nothing to do with the Raspberry Pi. It's just uh, my account so I didn't want to push it any further so I figured zoom works Google meet works so everything else should work okay I am truly amazed and now this is going to be my permanent setup for video conferencing thank you Raspberry Pi folks I feel like I need to pay you a visit and drop a few Christmas gifts so let's go do that right now I'm going to be leaving Nashville International Airport on board my new private jet, Destination Cambridge, UK. But before I do that, I am going to conduct some pre-flight checks and I will be with you shortly. Continue for his departure. Flight following. Airspace frequency change approved. 